World uh, WoW Guild that earned World First Ragnaros calls it quits. Enough is enough. Apes is quitting raiding. WoW Classic Raid Group Apes are effectively... I'm going to just go ahead and zoom in on this so you guys can read it here. Um, effectively uh, defunct after their owner Midos and other members called it quits since the magic of WoW kind of died. When WoW Classic launched 2019, uh, there was a race uh, to clear out and take down Molten Core with Ragnaros Fireward. Apes famously took on a challenge. Yeah, they 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 cleared. They didn't do it. They didn't do Rag in two hours, but they did all of MC in two hours. The achievement made the game's name uh, ring through all of Azeroth. The conditions within WoW Classic since then have led multiple people leaving the guild. Uh, banded together for this long, guild leader Matos is quitting Blizzard's MMORPG after 15 years of logging into the game. At a certain point, you know, you're just saturated. Enough is enough. So after 15 years and six and a half years of playing private servers, it's just enough, man. It's just enough. Like in hindsight, I should have quit in the in classic. In hindsight, I should have quit like half a year in or seven or eight months in. I think, um, I think classic kind of started dying after Blackwing Lair, in the sense yeah. that it stopped stopped being, you know, classic and it turned into this money factory for boosters to this money factory for GDGP, you know, raid leaders, whatever. This, this complete bot meta too, man. Uh, there was no real PvP in the world anymore. Everyone summoned to the raid. Like, the magic from WoW kind of died. It became industrialized at a bad scale. Yeah, uh, I think that's generally true. Um, uh, however, I, I think that, like, a, a lot of times, like, another factor here is that any guy that's played a game like this for 15 years or anything like that has uh it's like you're in a different point in your life and like i know that for a lot of my friends and people that i know that have played for a long time the reason why they're quitting the game is like a it's like a double reason they're quitting the game number one because they're like not happy with the way the game is but like another very close number two is the fact that they're just they're tired of playing the same game they played for 15 years they're bored of it they don't want to do it anymore and they're just thir yeah they're 33 years old now and they're about to get married and they're quitting wow so it just makes more sense that way now i think that for uh for classic wow classic wow's excitement definitely did die around bwl and the reason for that is because the game is not uh it, the botting and all of that stuff if you were to get rid of the botting and and all of that i don't really feel like that would fix the game for 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 this guy i don't think so because the truth is that it's still the same fundamental thing and playing through the same five or six raids for six years is just going to get boring eventually it just is that's the truth it's just going to get boring and i think this is what i said about classic wow and they need to make new content for the game and I think also, like what, with what uh, what this guy was saying too, is that Blizzard needs to take accountability for the bad things that are in the game. Because the truth is that there are a lot of bad things about the game. There is the botting meta. There is the uh, fucking like GDKPs that are done with like bought gold, and all of these like kind of like the the mage boosting stuff, etc. Like all of these things are not necessarily like good for the spirit of the game. And now the the summoning to dungeons, etc. I think that's completely fine. I, I don't consider it content to run from point A to point B for 30 minutes. Like, that's not content for me. That's just wasting my time. But there's other things that uh, that I do think would be better if they were made more like Classic WoW. Who wants the PvP fights going in? Yeah, I think that's fun. I, I like the PvP... I think the PvP fights in in WoW are really fun whenever they work properly. And they're also really fun whenever you don't have, like, world buffs to worry about. Because whenever you don't have world buffs, you can enjoy the game a little bit more, and you don't have to have, like, that really high-pressure, high-stress situation. Which, to me, I don't really find enjoyable. I, I'm sure that some people might, but to me, whenever I have to deal with something like that, I'm just automatically just, like, really turned off. Because I don't like to... I, I don't like to be punished for... for I, I don't like a game to punish me. Like, I, I don't want to, I don't play video games to be punished. Like, this isn't like a BDSM Fifty Shades of Grey thing. Like, I just want to play the game and have fun. And if I feel like I'm getting my time wasted or I'm being intentionally punished for not doing something properly or whatever, I just, I, I don't have fun. And I play video games for fun. And uh, that's all there is to it. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I might just quit. So, uh, the guild won't continue. There might be one roster though that might continue, like uh, people in the guild that still wants to play together, but it would 
it's probably going to be under like a different uh, tag, I think. Damn. Uh, but I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I think on my warrior and my hunter, I might as, I might as well stay in the guild, you know, like for, for social aspects, right? That's kind of sad, man. It really is. Uh, I mean, to see like a guild, like, uh, apes that's been doing content for so long to see them dying. Uh, it's really just disappointing. Content droughts are a good thing. Um, I think that content droughts are going to happen no matter what game you have. Like, Final Fantasy has content droughts, every game has content droughts, but certain games deal with the content droughts much worse than others. So I think that the way that you have, like, a game that deals with a content drought in a good way is like, uh, it's kind of like in Legion, for example, or maybe like even especially like in, in Ward's Draenor, ironically, is that in WAD, you, you could just stop playing the game and you didn't feel like you had to log in. Because I think the worst feeling is feeling that you have to log in during a content drought because of some arbitrary system. Because you're, it's like you don't want to play the game, but there are these FOMO mechanics that are put into the game that make you want to log in. So a game with content droughts is okay whenever that game allows you to say, okay, until next time. But if the game makes you continuously log on and continuously, uh, you know, fucking hit the bar of the fucking uh, Freud or Pavlovian fucking response team, whatever you want to fucking call it, uh, machine, it, it, that that's where the problem is, right? Where they just force you into logging in through like FOMO mechanics or catch up mechanisms or things like that. That's where I think people really get fatigued. Uh, let's see here. Biggest red flag you can possibly get is whenever longtime players uh, like WoWs, whenever your hardcore players start quitting in mass. It's an obvious thing to state, but I think people really underestimate how bad the situation is. No, the thing is, like, this guy's talking about something completely different. Overall, I just think the reason why a lot of the people probably in Apes quit is they've been playing the same content for years and years and years, and they're sick of being, like, super hardcore and serious about it. That makes sense, really, it does. Because guilds have always quit. You remember, like, uh, Nylum quit. Nylum fell apart. It was, like, after... When was it? This was, like, after, like, Wrath of the Lich King or something like that? Uh, Death and Taxes died in, like, Vanilla WoW or Burning Crusade. Uh, there are millions of guilds. Premonition, Vodka, uh, Blood Legion, uh, Paragon, etc. Many of these guilds have fallen apart and and risen and 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 fucking fallen throughout the years so i don't think it's necessarily indicative of the health of the game but with burning crusade the fact is that like blizzard has not done enough to make the game hospitable to new players absolutely i think it just sucks man and uh they're a hardcore because their social prestige wow lost it recently so no reason to waste your time anymore well that's true right it's like it sounds it's it's one thing if you're like really hardcore at a game and being super hardcore at that game gets you a lot of viewers on Twitch and it gets people to think that you're cool, etc. It's like, oh man, this guy's in this really cool guild or he's on this really badass team. But then whenever you're in a guild or in a team like that and you're playing a game that's irrelevant, you feel like you're wasting your time being super serious about it. And uh, at this point, you're... You uh, is it playing anymore? Yeah, I mean, I still play WoW. I mean, it's not like I don't play WoW. I know, I know that there are some people that have, like, this idea that I hate WoW and I'm quitting WoW and I don't want to play WoW anymore. Uh, I love WoW. I've always loved WoW. But the fact is that the game is, uh, uh, the game's not what it used to be. Like, we all love WoW. Yeah, I mean, it, it does depress me a lot to think about it because, like, I put so many, like, hours and hours and hours into the game and I don't know, man. It's like, it, it's, it, it's like you can't even really describe it. And I think that a lot of people wouldn't even really understand it. Like you played the same game for 15 years. You love this game. And this game was like all that you would do for like year after year after year. It's like breaking up with your girlfriend, except for I spent more time with WoW than I've ever spent with a girlfriend before. And you can still log on but it's like a it's like a zombie, you know. It's it's not really the same thing. Like you log on, uh, a lot of your friends aren't online. Uh, you log on, and it's like, okay, well, let's farm this other reskin or recolor for, you know, this I guess kind of cool thing. I don't know really what to say about it, man. Like, 
I, I don't know what the game needs. I don't know. It's like, the thing is, no, it, it's not like Stockholm Syndrome or anything like that. Like, I think it's as simple as this. WoW is a lot of people's comfort game. Like, people come to Azeroth, they come back to Azeroth, they log in, and it is their comfort game. It is the game that reminds them of times where they were a kid. It reminds them of times whenever they were young, and they loved the game, and it was the only thing that they had to worry about. And I think there's so many people out there that feel that way. So many people out there who would just... They're so excited to be able to just play the game and enjoy it. It's not like this weird addiction. It's not like an abusive relationship. I know some people, like, portray it that way. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think that it's just this simple. It's a, it's a game that people had a very strong emotional attachment to. And over the years, that emotional attachment has been diminished by different things. Like, And also, some of these things are not the game's fault. Some of these things are like, oh, well, this person is now an adult and they're, you know, like they're working a career and they don't have time to play the game anymore. So now they're not as emotionally attached to the game, but they can still go back and they can still play it and enjoy it. Uh, it's just simply a comfort game. That, that's literally all it is. It is a it is a simple comfort game. Like, I'll ask you guys, like, do you guys have a comfort game that you can go back and play and it will almost always make you feel good? Final Fantasy XIV, Skyrim, Zelda, Factorio, OSRS, Monster Hunter, Dota, World of Warcraft, Fortnite. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, my God. Um, let's see. Bloodborne, Ragnarok Online. Yeah. And a lot of these games that you guys are giving out examples of, these are older games because the games, the reason that they're a comfort game is because it reminds you of a time that you don't currently have and a time that's already passed. And I think that that's what WoW really has is I can go on to WoW and I can scroll down on my achievements and I can see it says, you know, from 2008. And it's like, I remember the people that were in that raid group and it, it, it's so cool to have that and you can remember it. And it, it's not really the same, but it reminds you of what it used to be like. And I think that's what the game really is. It's not this, uh, as I said, it, it's not this abusive relationship. It's not Stockholm Syndrome. It's none of these things. It's just something that, that's very comforting for people because they've invested so much of their time in the game. And it makes them feel good to play it. And I think that's why people have a, such a hard time uh, whenever the game isn't doing well. That's what it really comes down to. Look how they massacred my boy. Exactly. Exactly.